Hello? I got the barbecue ready. <laughs> I got the coals cooking and I got the gas pumping. Apparently, I was supposed to have a moist towelette. I oh, I skipped on that. I'm just they gonna keep dunk your my... hands clean better than the, the uh, standard paper towel. They do. Um, I I often wonder when they hand those out in restaurants what happens to the ones that dry out. I listen. Those are the kind of questions that get us put into like lockdown. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ta Towelette. 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 Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show, your favorite Wednesday night show, the one you've waited all week for. All week. Wait no longer. We're here. The food is marinated. <laughs> the barbecue's ready to go, because tonight we're grilling up some questions for you. Let's hit it. Let's go. We are Hillbarn Theater, Theater, a small, a small performing, performing arts, arts company, company in the, the peninsula, peninsula of California, California San, Francisco San Francisco Bay. Bay. When we had we to had close, close our doors, doors due, due to the pandemic back in 2020, we decided, we decided to, turn to turn to the internet to keep, to keep our, our sense, sense of community strong. strong. You, you can, can find us here every Wednesday, Wednesday evening, evening with a round of trivia or, or name that tune. We laugh. We dance. And we learn new things. Cilantro and coriander are the same. Stop. What? There are six states in Australia, and they are North, South, East, West, Other Australia, First Australia. Yep. I didn't know that. What is something you don't know? I know that. Trust, trust me, we learn that every week. week. <laughs> We're just a little 80-year-old theater company trying to spread some joy. Join, Join us, us, won't you? you? And you there are it is. here joining I gotta us. Tell you, I gotta tell you, that video, it just warms my heart every single time. Hey everybody, I got a special guest here tonight. Hello. We've Hi. coaxed him out from behind the curtain, folks. I almost said Kareen. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it works. It still <laughs> works, right? Hi everyone. I am out. Can I, can, I, can I just take a moment? I, I don't know if you see the background I put us in. But as I look oh. at it now, I realize it's really reminiscent of like Hamilton. <laughs> oh, a little bit maybe. With that it's golden a, it's black. A smoker. It's a smoker. Yes, it is a smoker. We're smoking. We're smoking. We're smoking on a Wednesday night. Yeah, we'll keep it brisket. Ooh. <laughs> with the good ribs. <laughs> it's going to be that kind of night, folks. I guess so. <laughs> uh, Alexander Barbecue. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. And so in case everybody, uh, welcome to the Hill Barn Theater Wednesday Night Trivia. Tonight's about barbecue, if you case you didn't pick it up already. Uh, we got some lovely side dishes of questions for you, as well as uh, yeah, barbecue favorites. Yum. Um, Toss, it's always so good to have you on the show, in, in the limelight where you belong. I know, usually I'm like sulking like Gollum. Are you just caressing the keys? My precious. My precious. Yeah, yep, pretty much. Yep, Close. Yep, yep, yep. Close. My mouse, actually. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Tomato, tomato, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what okay. kind of shenanigans are we getting into tonight? Um, I think we're going to have a lot of shenanigans because I haven't seen any questions. I know Same. you haven't seen any questions. Mm -mm. So we're going to blind cook. Not blind <laughs> bake, but blind, blind cook. cook. Tonight's, uh, tonight's questions. How many smoke got, As always, um, 15 questions each round, right? Mm. 
Uh, and they are all about barbecue. And because it's summertime, and we're going to talk about summertime barbecue. Oh, my goodness. Um, my mouth is already watering just talking about this, but um, we're going to get through it. I know we're yeah, going to get through we're, it. We were, we were in the green room, as it were, and it uh, turns out we both have uh, pieces of meat that are marinating right now or will be cooked soon. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. We've got a we've got a meal prepped that we, we unbeknownst to us subconsciously sent a memo to each other about. Yeah. So we're gonna do some uh, barbecued uh, barbecued pork. Pork. That's right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, if you're just joining us, you want to play the game with us. Uh, you're gonna move your mouse if you're on a desktop. You're gonna move your mouse just to the right hand screen of a delightful Tossie's window there, uh, and you're gonna see a little window pop out that says Quiz Kit. You're gonna click that. Yes, the mime work is on point. You're going to click that to manage profile and then bring your name to the game. If you're playing on a mobile device or a tablet, you're going to click the little button below us, right down there in the description. As Some, always, the name of the game rules. is... Something something rules. What does Randy Those say? are coming. Those are coming. Oh, As yeah, always, okay. the points are super important because they uh, don't yeah. matter. <laughs> um, and um, we're going to be doing lots of fun stuff today. Yeah! So... As we're gonna get these this quiz going, but as Randy always says, there must be rules. Rules. <laughs> I really want to try and imitate him, but we'll see. We'll see how I go. Chat, Listen. you'll have to let me know percentage wise at the end if something I... something rules. Yep. Something be something a new rules. On our merch store. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, where's my uh, Starbucks? <laughs> All right, getting those rules up. There you go. Delightful. Is that what it's, is that? it's really nice. It's a pencil, a pencil and, a and it's a lens or a, a light you, cap. There you go. <laughs> Listen, I'm here for the improv. Mm, caffeine. Yes, he's got props. Tossie do. doesn't mess around. He's a professional. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's professional always. All right, gang, here we go. We're getting ready. Let's jump into some BBQ, shall we? All right. <laughs> I buy that shirt too. Um, I need to um, take one more step because um, I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> what do you forget? Um, I don't have. I can't read the questions before they pop up because I don't have the list up. <laughs> Let me look at this. Randy plays these, doesn't he? Doesn't he play along? I think he plays along on his phone. He doesn't. I mean, we're gonna. I'll see. just. I'll just. Uh, while we're doing that, let's give a big shout out to our moderators today. Um, yeah. You know her as a social media maven and box office guru, Bridget Brosi, Bridget Losi in the chat. Hi, Bridget. She is the uh, organizer of the unorganized, the champion of all things close to my heart. Madam Harbinger, Sam Ritchie. Hi, Madam. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, while I have you on the phone, can you send me those questions? <laughs> <laughs> while I got you on the line there. And then we're going to get Hello. going. Hello, is anyone there? Hello. I just realized when I open that screen, my face is just like super bright. Oh, you're great. You look fine. So while that's happening, how's myself. everybody doing in the chat today? Yeah. It's Wednesday. It's, it's the middle of the week. All right. There's the link. How have we not made the Australia shirt? <laughs> I oh, don't I know. know. I don't sure. know, Bridget. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. Let's take some crew, crew drawing of Australia. Yep. Be like Australia, other Australia, South. Okay. First Australia. I think I'm ready now, Toss. Thank you, Madam Harbinger. Sam, you All right, gang, here we go. Question one. This is general American BBQ knowledge. Oh, American American. 
I don't write the quiz. I just read them sometimes. <laughs> the four categories of barbecue cooking in the U.S. are Carolina style, Texas style, Kansas City style, and is it Memphis, Chicago, Southern, deep dish? <laughs> deep dish? Deep dish. Deep. I'm going to have that deep dish brisket. Have you ever had like... Have you ever had like deep dish pizza? I have. There's there's uh, one that's supposed to be really good, which I've had, but only once in the Bay. It's called Zachary's. Oh, nice. There's a place up here called Blue Line, which also does. Oh, are, yeah. I'm and not a fan of it. As... City. Also, none of these places are sponsors of the show. I just want everybody to know. Right. In theory, on paper, in papyrus, <laughs> deep dish is <laughs> feels like something I would love. Yeah. Not a fan? No, I'm not. I'm not either. But yeah. I mean, if, if, if I was in a pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it. If I was at a picnic. Well, true. Also do it. Also do but it. But there's something to be said about getting that nice balance of dough and like sauce yes. and, yes. you know, whatever else that's on top. Yeah. All right. The answer to question one is Memphis style. I had a feeling. Memphis. All right, question two. How many pounds can the largest barbecue pit in the world serve <laughs> at once? Is it 8,000, 800, 80, or 8 million? Million. Million. Bridget, so oddly enough, you're not the first person to have said that. Someone in one of those meetings that we sat in, Dan, I won't say who, also said that. Yeah, in Jersey, like yeah, 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 pizza pie. Wow. Or it's a or it's a tomato pie. Oh. I know they put clams. Some people do on their how you, pizza. How are you about the most controversial question faced on this planet? I mean. I, Pineapple I will, on I, <laughs> That's going to answer it for you right away. Uh, the answer is I would never order it, but I will always say yes to it if someone gave it to me. Fair. And to be fair, uh, when I was hosting what was it, uh, City Lights mm -hmm. fundraiser last year, and uh, one of their, I guess, board members or whatever, uh, constituents, ha uh sent me created me from their backyard bop you know brick oven pizza elk and poison pineapple pizza Whoa. so they, they dried out the pizza oh sorry the pineapple uh-huh so it wasn't like you know super juicy then they yeah. brushed hoisin it on it put it in the brick oven and it like all that flavor just <laughs> sealed in it was delicious oh you're making me hungry. All right, the answer to this question, question two, is 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds, everybody. Can, can't believe it. Question three, which barbecue sisters were featured in the third season of Netflix's Queer Eye? Is it Jones Barbecue? Less Sisters, Sisters Place Barbecue, Memphis Barbecue Co. I forgot about that episode. They That's made like sauce barbecue. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I always feel like if you do barbecue well and you know where to get your produce, your meats, your cuts, whatever, it's like you're always gonna have people <laughs> yeah come through i i have to find a good barbecue place around here mm. i haven't been wait to... but you've taken us to one sort of during peter and Starcatcher. you brought on one of those saturdays it was like a platter of like oh that was beef. armadillo willies mm. oh okay, okay. so <laughs> they're they're good but they're not quite they're good like and barbecue. listen if anyone from armadillo willies is listening your food is great gotcha uh don't get me wrong but like barbecue, like there's a place, there's a place in, or there was, I don't know if it's still there back when I was in college in Sacramento uh -huh. called Sandra D's and it's just 
D D D heavenly deliciousness beyond words all right the correct answer to question three is jones barbecue Question number four, where will you find the most barbecue restaurants per capita? <laughs> Is it Oklahoma, Georgia, North Carolina, hmm, Texas? Hmm, Texas. Hey, Eric and Adria. Hi, Eric and Adria. Three Pigs is good, but... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put them on blast too much, but like for the amount of money you're paying for the food, you don't get enough. Uh, there's a place so went from, they went from three to pigs if you're listening are. i'm sorry but like your prices don't meet what i'm paying for it <laughs> they don't meet they don't meet m-e-a-t <laughs> <laughs> we got puns we got puns on puns on puns tonight i love it i love it <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh Boss, do you want to know what the, the correct answer is uh, oh. You're lying. Yeah, I, I do. Sorry. Great. It's I'm Oklahoma. Like, I'm like, what number are we on? Oklahoma. <laughs> where we find the most barbecue restaurants per capita. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. It's not I only the place where the wind comes sweeping down the plane, it's where barbecue is. I never would have guessed. I, well, oh, I mean, I would have guessed North Carolina. Or Are Texas. You ready for the next question? Well, I mean, Texas. Yeah. But, yeah. When question five, when making barbecue, when do you apply a mop? Is it before cooking, during cooking, after cooking, when you spill? <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. I mean, did you just keep the mop on there? It's like, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Say what? <laughs> Yeah, you, you have a sauce mop. Sauce mop. Fun fact, in the Philippines, uh, mm -hmm. when they have, um, there's a specific region in the Philippines where they specialize in lechon, roast pig, right? They have like l rows and rows of pits. Yeah. They use mops also uh -huh. to, you know, keep the uh, skin crackly. Yeah. And let me just throw this out there. If you've never had a lechon, please do so once in your life. Um, the correct answer to question five is during cooking. During cooking. Mm. All right, question six. What do you get if you order burnt ends in a Kansas-style barbecue joint? Do you get slightly burnt spare ribs, the crispy parts of a smoked beef brisket, grilled cornbread, or barbecue sausage? <laughs> or D, knowing looks. Concerned for your safety <laughs> glances. <laughs> this is yeah. going to be one of those quizzes where as we do it, I'm just going to progressively get more hungry. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> I'm salivating. I've got, like, uh, Pavlov's barbecue right? uh, smoke happening. Oh, I'm just Pavlov. I could smell it. Did I, I can... tell you my terrible pun joke? Go ahead. Why is Pavlov's hair so soft? <laughs> <laughs> is that why? <laughs> because why? He conditions it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yep. All right, the answer to question six is the crispy parts of a smoked beef brisket. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I love it so much. Love it so much. Like the makeshift cowbell? I know. I didn't think I was going to make that sound. It totally worked out. Thanks, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Toss, let's jump into question seven. After hours of cooking... The finished product in barbecue will have a layer of what on it? Is it peel, rind, bark, crackling? Also, do you want me to read some of these? Can you? Does Randy read some of these? 
I forget. You can, Randy reads them all. Do you want to read them? Oh, he does. Read some. Take eight. Take eight through uh, eight through fifteen for us. All right. I'll give you the uh, the cue the cue when we get the. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. The question answered by everyone playing today. Barbecue. Barbecue. We tried barbecuing at our place some time ago uh, yeah. in a very small charcoal uh, grill. Mm -hmm. And then we immediately got served with the letter from the HOA. <laughs> oh, man. The food was still digesting when I got the letter. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Like It arrived by owl mere <laughs> moments after I pulled the meat off. Yeah. They're like, someone, we, we saw this on a inspection during this day i'm like no you didn't some neighbor reported us don't lie <laughs> come on all right uh the answer to question seven is bark bark that's right it's worse than bark i say how loud yeah hello yep. all right all right here Tossie, we go. take us into question eight shall you sweet Can you? in which american barbecue region is a pig picking most popular is it Texas, Kansas, North Carolina, or Alabama? Again, that's in which American barbecue region is pit picking most popular? Is this like cow tipping? I get. <laughs> Except you pick the pig. What are you doing today? I'm pig picking. I like that one. It's nice. I was cow tipping yesterday. <laughs> So I look, Sandra D's is still around. Is it? That's great. If you happen to live in the Sacramento area, please go and visit Sandra D. I feel like we might have passed by this on one of our like. I think they Sacramento serve. If I'm not mistaken, it on the menu was like alligator and. There's alligator. What is the correct answer? Oh, I'm sorry. The cor um. How do I know which one is correct here? North Carolina. <laughs> Woo! North Carolina. That's right. Going to... Nope, that's a different song. Um, Let's jump into question nine. All right. Question number nine. Eating high on the hog means what? Is oh. it sampling the pork while it's cooking? The feeling you get after eating too much pork? Eating the choice pieces of pork? Or... Eating pork while intoxicated. Hey, Ron. Hey, it's Ron. Speaking of, if you have not yet seen the documentary High on the Hog, it's quite lovely. It's on Netflix. Cool. Nice. We'll give you I good... have not seen that. That's what I'm going to watch next. Yeah, it's very uh, it's it, very story-based because um, they kind of follow the roots of, you know, uh, s southern cooking all the way to West Africa and kind of like nice. where a lot of that those recipes and the, the story around that comes from. That's so awesome. very handy. It's very neat. That's very cool. New show alert. New show alert. Okay. Shall we? Is it answer time? Do you wish to reveal the answer? The answer is A. Eating the choice pieces of pork. Eating choice pieces of pork. Nom, 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 nom. I'm hound a hog. Hound a hog. Hound All right, next hog. question. What is finger meat? <laughs> Whoa, watch it. Hey, 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 hey. Is it Ron's meat? here. We got to be serious. I know. <clears throat> is it <laughs> meat between <laughs> baby back ribs? Barbecued pig's feet? Meat you nibble on while slicing barbecue brisket? Or barbecued bacon? What's finger meat? Meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bonus points if you know where that line's from. Yep. Chat. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, high on the hog on Netflix. Check it out. High on the hog. I gotta put that. I gotta go check that out after this. Is it one of those ones that I'm just gonna get lost in the docu series that I'm like, this is so amazing. Mm, maybe. Probably. You know, I love a good story. You let me All right. Me. Tis time. All right. The correct That's answer the is. What's meat finger? between baby back ribs. Oh. Mm. I'm fighting everything I can to not sing that horrible song that's an earworm for everybody. 
Um, question 11. <laughs> My what brain is... just played it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> question 11. Barbecue sauce is most often deep red or even clear. Where can you find white barbecue sauce? Hmm. Texas, Arkansas, Georgia, or Alabama? Hmm. I don't think I've ever had white barbecue No, same. I would have probably mistaken it for ranch if I saw it. Right? Because consistency is of that, right? Although ranch is delicious. <laughs> yes. Why is it going to be clean? Because I... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ron, I don't know. <laughs> Kitties could be running around for all we know, and you've yeah, got we us, don't... Exactly. you know, pump through the TV on the big screen. Poltergeist style. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Picking answers. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What is the correct answer to question 11? Alabama. Alabama. Sweet Alabama. Home. Alabama. That's right. Nobody got that one right. Nobody? Damn. Wow. Okay. That's, it Sorry. seems so obscure. It does. All right. Question next 12. question. Number 12 on the board. A favorite barbecue side. Southern style coleslaw made with ketchup and vinegar is referred to as the shred, cabbage mess, bleeding slaw, or red slaw. <laughs> wow. I wow. slaw the sheriff. But I did not slaw the deputy. No, the deputy is somewhere. <laughs> like, just. Yo! I had a back. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ow. It's on my yes. screen. There it is. High five. Nom, 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 All right. What is it, Toss? The correct what answer is, the correct is answer? red slaw. Red slaw. That's right. Red slaw. All right, question number 13. Yeah. Which American city is dubbed the world's barbecue capital? Is it Lexington, North Carolina, Kansas City, Missouri, Austin, Texas, or Memphis, Tennessee? Ooh. Here we go. You think uh, any West Coast cities, towns will ever be barbecue capital of the world? Uh, no. I thought you were going to say something of the world. And I was like, I'm pretty sure like Santa Barbara is the avocado <laughs> toast of the world. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true, actually, isn't it? We've got a lot of that kind of stuff. Barbecue, fish. I think California food is very fusion based. Yeah. You know what I mean? That like might be a very just... uh, coastal thing, though, right? It could be coastal. Yeah, you're right. It could be a coastal thing. Yeah. All right. The correct answer is mm. Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, because everything's up to date. Yep. In Kansas City. They've gone Kansas about as far City. as they can go. All right. Question 14. Second yeah. last question. The martini shot of question of round one. <laughs> Memphians. <laughs> Memphians place their orders with a sort of code that doesn't appear on any menu. Give me a white pulled. Means you'll be served pulled pork sandwich on white bread. Pulled pork and grits. The lighter and juicier interior meat pulled off the bone. Pulled pork smothered in white gravy. I mean, just give all that to us. <laughs> it just sounds so just good. Put it, just put it on a cookie when sheet. When you hear just... smothered in gravy, I mean, outside like, of the fact like, that's like probably unhealthy, nothing about that sounds. I have I have yet to see a meal that is labeled with the word smothered. Yeah. That hasn't been like drool worthy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Whew. Pie you know, the good old, smothered like... with ice cream. Mm. Oh. What about, um, uh, oh, no, I just lost it. My brain, my brain just went. Oh, I, I got the answer. It just came in. Oh, yep, go for it. The correct answer is the lighter and juicier interior meat pulled off the bone. There it is. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Wow. Biscuits, sausage, and gra smothered name in me, gravy. Name oh. me a more powerful duo. <laughs> oh. Chicken and waffles? Ebony oh. and ivory? Cher and Bono? I don't know. All right, last question of the round. The signature <laughs> barbecue dish of South Carolina is cornbread. 
Hash and rice. Hush puppies. Bleeding slaw. Is bleeding, bleeding slaw? Flaw. Whoa. Now I gotta have that. Whatever that is. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I came, I slaw, I bled. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe it's when you're eating a sandwich and you just get too... And you like bite your skin and then slaw. Oh, man. Very. I've been watching too much anime. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> um, Slaw yeah. of ketchup? I don't know. I don't know. Ketchup already has vinegar in it. So I don't know what it would taste like with more vinegar in it. And then, of course, do you put like apple cider vinegar or like regular like yeah. i don't know what's the correct answer to question 15 Taz? hash and rice hash and rice hash and rice i can't believe it we finished with round one wow what a journey folks what a I journey know. let's go ahead and get that delightful drum roll if you please we shall here we go the winner of round one barbecue is Eric and Adrian, hey. first place. Hey. Rosie and Mickey Skinner. Hey, Mickey. Ah. Question scores are uh, Eric and Adrian, legit Rosie. Great job, you guys. Hi, everyone. Should we just hop into round two? I think we shouldn't delay because all we right. all know that when barbecue sits, it gets cold. Yeah. Well, you and when you start barbecue off, gets yeah. cold, it's not good. All right, let's get those let's get those rules up on the board here. Yeah, our round two is barbecue awesome. history and weird facts. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. I never met a weird fact I didn't like. I yeah, same. I love me some weird factoids. <laughs> if you're joining the game, make sure and click that little button next to Tazi's window. Hit the quiz kit button. Manage profile. Bring your name in the game. Play along with us because it's barbecue. And barbecue's always better with a group. Oh, oh let's get this it. This is true. This is true. Sam and I ended up at a place uh, in Santa Cruz that did barbecue. Uh, and we always kind of forget, like, for the price, sometimes you don't, it's not like a, it's not like a hometown buffet. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> real it was talk, really tasty, real though. It was really tasty. Real talk with the hometown buffet. I'm here for it. All right. Here we go. Question one, everybody. <clears throat> Investigators discovered that the diet of the builders at which archaeology archaeology sites involved copious amounts of barbecue. Investigators discovered that the diet of the builders at which archaeology archaeological site involved copious amounts of barbecue. Huh. I'm pulling a Randy. Was it Machu Picchu, Peru? Chichen Itza? What is it? Chichen Itza? Chichen Itza? Yeah. Mexico? Palace? <laughs> Palace of Cadonia? Greece? Stonehenge, England? Chicken pizza. There you go. <laughs> Chicken pizza. I've heard that place before, though. What? Probably in the cooking show. Chichen Itza? Chichen Itza. I mean, I've heard it too, but I didn't know that's how you spelled it. You been there, madam? You've been there? What? You've been to Chichen Itza or you've been to Chicken Pizza? <laughs> Both. <laughs> fair, fair, Let's have fair. Chicken Pizza at Chichen Itza. Oh. <laughs> Place to sacrifice the virgins. That's unfortunate. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, seriously. All right, Toss, you ready for where they found the barbecue? I am. Stonehenge. Really? Of all places. Yeah, I would not have thought that, and I've been there. It's a powerful place, but I wouldn't think barbecue. The archaeologists that were there were like, we just got to get this barbecue. That the diet of the builders at which archaeology, archaeological, oh my God, archaeology site involved copious amounts of barbecue. But think huh. like old, like barbecue could translate into like, look, an animal. I've killed it. Put it over the fire. Barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're kind of stuck in the Americanized. You know what I mean? Right. All right. 
You want to you wanna alternate? We'll take Let's turns. Let's do it. All right. All right. Which yeah. president hosted the first barbecue at the White House? Is it George H.W. George Bush, Abraham Lincoln, Grover Cleveland, or Lyndon B. Johnson? Which president hosted the first barbecue at the White House? Is it George H.W. Bush, Abraham Lincoln, Grover Cleveland, or Lyndon B. Johnson? Lindy B, Go Lindy. Grover C, <laughs> A.B. Link, A. B. Lee, or Georgie Bush? <laughs> Welcome to the stage, George Bush. <laughs> welcome to the stage. Please welcome to the stage, George Bush. George Bush. George Bush. <laughs> George Bush. The correct answer is. Oh. Yep. Oh. What is Lin- it? Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. LBJ. LBJ be Girl. serving the BBQ. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. All right, question three, folks. Here we go. Barbecue baloney. <laughs> Bologna? Barbecue. Bologna is a thing. What What is used to make the rub stick before smoking it at low temp for a couple of hours? Why do I get the difficult ones that my brain goes... Gador. Is it... The rub stick. Mayo, mustard, ketchup, or vinegar? Bologna was right. Okay, great. <laughs> Bolognese. <laughs> Bologna. <laughs> Barbecue Bologna. Barbecue Bologna is a thing. Vinegar is like an amazing ingredient. I will just say. Vinegar is the all purpose. Right? Yeah. It's a cleaning solution. It's a delectable treat to put into your food. Well, I, and I didn't realize vinegar and sh- is it sugar? I think. No. Vinegar and something else together yeah, is like a sauce kind of like. Oh, no, not baby. It helps bring sauce together. Was that? I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. I said baking soda, not a good combo. <laughs> oh, right. Those are volcanoes, right? Right. Volcano. Uh, speaking of which, the question, the answer to question three is <laughs> mustard. Mustard. Oh, yeah. Mustard. Oh, yeah. That's what I see people doing. Yeah, they just kind of rub it. All right. Let's jump into question four. Question number four, where did the word barbecue come from originally? Is it the Spanish, Arawak-speaking Taino people, the French, the English? Flawless on your delivery. Flawless. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a professional. He's open for gigs. Please book him (laughs) quickly. Someone someone was asking about like voiceover. Maybe it was on Twitter about voiceover tips. And I was like, I think, weirdly enough, just reading out loud, which is something I've been practicing for the past, like, two months, just to be better about reading, <laughs> which reading should, out loud. yeah, you know, you can't, we build these, like, habits when we read things quietly in our, our mind. When you try to speak them, try to read out loud, you realize, wow. Thank you. Uh, that's my favorite. The correct answer is... Yeah. Arawak speaking Taino people. There it is, folks. Amazing. I yep. didn't know that. Now I do. Now Thought I was ready. Oh, I'm always this ready. This is the ready. show where we learn things. Yes. All right, going into question number five. Question five, which of these international dishes is not a style of barbecue? <laughs> is it uh, ch- chorizo in Brazil, uma in Samoa, umu, umu, umu. in Samoa, yeah, Samoa, uh, brai in South Africa, or Roslink, Roslink, Roslonik, Rosno, ah, Roslolik, there you go. <sighs> you found it. Churrasco. 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 Rasolin. Churrasco? Rasolin. Oh, chur- la- Churrasco. 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 
<clears throat> so I, I participated in umu making growing up in American Samoa. Yeah? It's pretty fun. Yeah, you would throw like. Oh, you're getting shush because you might give it away. Oh. <laughs> there was so much panic on your face. Like, what have I done? What? What did uh... I do? I'll just shrink into the background. Okay, we're good. The correct answer is Rush Lolnik in Russia. Go ahead. Go talk about your, your umu. I'm scared now. No, you're good. You're good. I got you. <laughs> No, nah, it was just as a kid, you know, they entrusted you with fire growing yeah. up. It's not unlike here. You know, you can't even bring a candle to school. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, they gave, they gave us machetes when I was in high school. So we beat the jungle away. Nice. It's a story for a different day. Yeah. All right, next question. Yeah. <laughs> in what year did barbecue become the first flavored potato chip? Oh. In what yeah, year? Did, just see hmm? that. These are going to be really difficult to pronounce, so just take your time. <laughs> In what year did barbecue become the first flavored potato chip? Is it 1968, 1978, 1988, or 1958? <laughs> Thank you for that. I thought I'd get you that one. Thank you. Fun fact about myself, never really? like barbecue chips. Really? What's your favorite chip? I'd say like dill or, <laughs> yeah, dill. I probably bonded over with- the Renegade. Uh, <laughs> that's Max Takis's also, oddly enough. Dill, wow. Yeah. He will love a dill flavored chip any day. So you must like the dill pickled flavor. Mm-hmm. It's odd, right? I think it's because but I no, don't... I, to each their own. Mine well, is sour cream and onion. Oh, that's good, too. The yeah, thing is, I, I, I think yeah. it's because I don't eat shit by themselves. I like to have it, in, you know, with something else. So Fair. the flavors Fair. marry, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all all right, the correct the answer power. is... Yeah. 1958. 1958. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gang. Let's jump into question seven. When were charcoal briskets patented... Is it 1707, 1608, 1897, or 1920? <laughs> Ron, just, just finished cleaning, finish my, cleaning barbecue my barbecue grill. grill. It was great. Yes! <laughs> Coming through with the dad joke. Yeah. Uh, I love it. So good. One word charcoal briquettes patented. Really? It's amazing because, mm -hmm. you know, we've had briquettes, sort of, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Tanjiro made some. Yep. If you guys haven't seen the documentary Demon Slayer on Netflix, you really should check it out. If it's about a uh, young charcoal uh, maker who's... <laughs> it's a who, uh, yeah, he just kind of goes on this kind of, like, real great journey discovering himself with his sister with his sister yeah important uh yeah. Mm -hmm. note there so if you like documentaries right. so the briskets and briskets were patented the correct answer is 1897 nice <clears throat> all right let's jump into question eight and do number yourself. eight when did the phrase kiss the cook first appear in writing was it in an 1813 Italian English dictionary, in the 1908 newspaper story, on an apron on Married with Children, or on a 1950s women's pajamas? Here we go, question eight. You do see that quite often, don't you, in shows and anything when someone's wearing an apron. Yeah, you either see Kiss the Cook or like they have like the rift body on it or like the oh, super yeah. fit body with a big apron right huh they don't get real creative with those aprons i guess maybe not i you want know, one I... that's just a bunch of stains <laughs> pre-stained it comes out of the box out of the bag like pre-stained and you're like what 
<laughs> D- designer apron. No one will never. Uh, who's gonna know? <laughs> Nobody will know. <laughs> who's gonna know? All right. Are you ready for correct your... answer? Is in an 1813 Italian English dictionary. There it is. Wow. Long time ago. Well, I guess when you make food really well, no matter what age, you're going to get a smooch. 200 years ago, just so you know. Wow. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Weird perspective. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, question nine. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council... <laughs> so many jokes just ran through my head. How many hot dogs do Americans as a whole eat per year this question is it 15 billion 10 billion 20 billion 5 billion that's a lot of hot dogs to put in holes let stop it <laughs> ron says my dad just got a fancy new grill and i'm worried he'll get hurt trying to use it the stakes have never been higher <laughs> <laughs> yes Yes! Ah! Oh, so here for that. <laughs> well, I so want a steak now. Mm, steak. Where do you guys get your steaks? From the butcher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you actually know a butcher? Uh huh. That's awesome. The butcher, the, the from the market up the hill. I know. Yeah. I know the guys, and they're great. I love it. I gotta learn All right, the history. correct answer is 20 billion hot dogs. Mm, that's a lot of hot dogs. All right, question number 10. Which purveyor of fast food began as a barbecue restaurant? Is it Arby's, Wendy's, Burger King, <laughs> McDo, as they say in the Philippines? Oh. McDo. Yeah, they shorten that for some reason. In Australia, then- it's Mackers. It, oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. You learn something new every day. Right? Maccas. Here we go, folks. Question 10. In Australia. Have you ever is. eaten at an Arby's? I have. So have I. It was a, it was a low point in my life. <laughs> Those commercials get me, though, because I'm like, that looks... Tasty if you like bread and meat and cheese. And you want seven of them for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> How are they still in business exactly? I guess I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Alright, the correct answer is Yes, Ron, it is. McDonald's. Yes, <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's is the correct answer. All right, question 11. Which purveyor of fast food began as a hot dog cart? Why am I getting all the hot dog questions? (laughs) All right, is it Arby's, Wendy's, Carl's Jr., or Burger King? Burger King. The king of burglars. I mean, burgers. Sometimes (laughs) it feels that way. Wow, these are interesting back-to-back questions. Right? It just goes to show, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish that counts. Or maybe... (laughs) Yeah, that you finish. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. All right, correct answer to question 11 on which purveyor of fast food began as a hot dog cart? Believe it or not, Carl's Jr. Wow. Carl's Sor- Carl's a sordid Jr. history of Carl's and McDonald. Carl's Jr. It's a hot dog cart. Weird. All right, question number 12. Yep. Be careful out there because according to the NFPA, gas grills cause blank home fires a year is it eight million eight hundred eighty nine thousand or eighty nine hundred be careful out there 
Because according to the NFPA, gas what grills. Is, what is NFPA? No freaking freaking I, I, idea. Possible. Yeah, right. I, I think it's National Fire Prevention Association. All right, I can see that. How we doing? How we doing, chat? Where are we at? Where are we at with that? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with the correct answer. Are you ready? It is... I am ready. 8,900. <laughs> 8,900. Question 13. In 2011, a man broke into a home while what? slathered head to toe in barbecue sauce. <gasps> what state did this happen in? Was it Washington, Wisconsin, Washington, D.C., or Wyoming? I should totally redo that in my newsreel. <laughs> in 2011, a man broke into a home while slathered head to toe in barbecue sauce. <gasps> in what state did it happen? Wisconsin, Washington, Washington, D.C., or Wyoming? Or crazed. Lord 11. <laughs> that was really good. You We're should get, on, you should get on, on TikTok and do one of those like uh, news anchor. Can you be a news anchor? And then they, they show you. Can you be off. a news anchor in 30 <laughs> seconds? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, the correct answer is Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, the land of cheese. Cheese. I've never had cheese from Wisconsin. Well, one you day. don't know that for sure. <clears throat> That's true. All right, martini shot. Oh. Number 14, the documentary Finders Keepers involves a fight over something found in a purchased barbecue grill. What was that thing? Was it $10,000, a trophy, a secret recipe, a foot, Finders sure. Keepers? This was plucked from the random tree tonight. Y yeah. I love it. Yeah, you like that? Dollars. <laughs> Answer these questions for your legacy. 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 <laughs> Le <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it, Toss. But what? Pray the tell. correct answer is a Did foot. They, find? they found a foot? They found a foot. A, a foot, foot of... Or just a foot? It's just a foot. It's just a foot. I don't even know if it was a left foot or a right foot. It's just a foot. A foot it, of it what? It matters. It matters, but we'll never know. Yeah. You too can watch the movie if you wish. I wonder if it had toes, too. Oh, let's not get into that. <laughs> TOS. A foot. Uh, question 15. <laughs> question 15. Final question of this round, and uh, we'll reveal all but everything in the and the winner for us. What is true of the man who wrote the famous Chili's Baby Back Ribs jingle? <sighs> he also wrote the Hot Pockets jingle. He fought to have it have it out of Austin Powers. He's a siren. He's never eaten the ribs. That's really good selection. Not the ribs, just the selection. I'm sure the ribs are good too. I mean, they're they're everyone in their head right now is singing that song because it's an earworm. But then at the same time, they're trying to do a mashup of the Hot Pocket theme song um, to see if that's the right answer. It's trying to see if it like matches. Are those the same keys? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are they? I don't know. Hot Pockets, man, those were a thing. Those were a thing for a hot minute. My, I'm pretty sure I scalded. Most Everybody did. Taste, that was but, that was part of having a hot pocket. That was the pocket. thing. It was a it was a hazy. Right? It was a ritual, right? What are yeah, you having? Oh, 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 he's having a hot pocket. Oh uh, yeah, he's having a hot pocket. <laughs> yep. Give, All give right. Me, the correct answer minutes. is the man who wrote the famous Chili's baby back ribs jingle has never eaten the ribs. Cannot that, believe my friends, it. is true talent. Wow. He didn't even have to have it. He just. He just wanted it. Oh, it's never. Oh, it's the desire. It's the desire. He wrote a song about desire, 
and therefore my world has been shattered tonight on trivia. <laughs> if you too believe that you can write a theme song based on desire, uh, give us an email at info at hillbarntheater. <laughs> Let us know what our theme song should be. Send for us the show first. We're here. What was it? How many bars? It's literally. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby. And then the second person comes up, chili, baby, baby. Oh, so good. Chili, baby. It's desire. That's all it is, folks. It's just desire. desire. All right, let's get that drum roll, if you please. Here we go. <laughs> it's so weird because I know what's coming up, but yes. you don't. The winner of round two is Legit Brosy. Congratulations, hey. Legit Brosy. Great job. Ooh, ooh. We are here for it. Congrats. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us in chat tonight and playing the game. For those of you who played the game, for those of you that just came in and showered us with your beautiful jokes, I, I'm here for it all in so many ways. Um, so really Wednesday awesome nights questions. are truly just just great. Great questions. Thank you to the team for putting those questions together um, and sticking me with all the hot dog ones. Real appropriate. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, but here's the thing, folks. Uh, we're going to take a couple of weeks off. Uh, and we are going to um, use that time to produce some theater in our space with the kids uh, for Kids Camp. Uh, and we're going to get geared up to bring back... Um, our first show in October. We are ready. We hope you're ready. Um, but we will be back with a brand new schedule in August. And um, we cannot wait to do this with you. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight for the barbecue brazen. Yeah, I'm. I'm I lost, Smoke I'm againza. Lost. <laughs> Smoke againza. <laughs> um, uh, please remember always. Um, take care of yourselves. Be safe. Stay healthy. We love you very much. Have a great rest of your week weekend, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Happy summer, everybody. Happy summer. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.